the Packers get set to take on the New Orleans Saints. The fifth matchup between Breeze and Rodgers, the series tied it to a piece. Some things just never get old. Fast and furious! We said it, fast and furious! Like watching Drew Breeze versus Aaron Rodgers on NFL Turning Point. With a better team, with a lead dog, everybody's coming for us to shut him up tonight. Back in 2011, in the series' very first episode, 27-year-old Rodgers beat 32-year-old Breeze in a shootout fresh off an NFL lockout. The past two Super Bowl MVPs had taken different approaches to the unusual offseason. Rodgers took some grief from the press when Breeze held private workouts with his receivers, while Rodgers didn't. A little thing Rodgers didn't forget after his week one dismantling of New Orleans. much better than this. Could you have asked for a better start? Yeah, that was a good start for us. But I just got to ask myself, I said, if what would have happened if we'd had off-season workouts? I mean, could we have started any faster? It's worth more points tonight, you know? But how could he forget? These guys remember everything. What's made you so successful against pressure defenses over the years? Probably the off-season workouts. From super long play calls. We got wide right block 66, ZMDM post, XD pacer. If I kill it, I'm killing it to stroke. If we don't get cover four over there, I'm going to kill it to stroke. Yeah. To super choreographed huddles. Real Saints got pride. Ain't no tell no lie. Ain't no tell no lie. Real Saints got swag. Ain't no tell no lie. Ain't no tell no lie. Real Saints, we fight. Ain't no tell no lie. Ain't no tell no lie. Real Saints, we win. 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 True. To fun football memories. Jones thought he stole one on the first touchdown. Wasn't that too? That was to Jermichael. Didn't see JJ there. He, it's not the first time. He stole one at Detroit 2008. I was throwing it to Greg in the back of the end zone. And special family ones. It's like my grandfather always said. He said there's three three types of people or three types of teams in this world. There's those that make it happen, and there's there's those that watch it happen. And that there, there's those that wake up one day and say, "What the heck happened?" It was about time we made it happen. They are brilliant tacticians, marvels of the modern era of quarterbacking. And like Tom Brady, their precision and longevity are no accident. It's a touchdown! They work harder than you know to make it look easier than you could believe. Drew Brees has now thrown a TD pass in 47 consecutive games, tying Johnny Unitas. Johnny Unitas, arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play this game. No argument here. Rodgers and Breeze are two of the best of all time. And in another epic duel, ironically, the turning point came when both were on the sideline. We got the ball at midfield. I think we all felt really good that we were going to go down and get points, you know, hopefully a touchdown and um, kind of seize control of that game. Tied at 27, Taysom Hill in at quarterback for the Saints. He's going to be in the pistol. Taysom pulls the hand up, ball is on the ground, and the Packers recover it. Taysom's fumble turned out to be the turning point, what were your thoughts? Yeah, look, it was a tough break, tough play. It's a give read. You know, we have a chance for a big play. I wish he would just gave at that time. He pulled it. He just got his hand on the football. It popped right out. This one hurts. Yeah, that was huge. That was really huge. Anytime you're playing uh, Drew Brees' team, uh, you know you got to score. In the end, we couldn't keep pace with the numbers that they were putting up. In five games against Rodgers, Brees has 16 touchdowns, zero interceptions, and three losses. This game got decided by the Taysom Hill fumble with Drew Brees on the sideline. Breeze said it best himself back in 2012. Great game, bro. You're incredible. It's tough to beat, buddy. You're the man. Chasing their elusive second Lombardi, they no longer have the benefit of time. If this was the last time they'll square off, they made it worth watching.